Hey guys, and welcome to your singles love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your February 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So these are the Taurian individuals that are currently not dealing with anyone. We're going to take a look and see what's currently going on with you guys in love. Uh, um, and then we'll take a look and see what uh, your blocks and challenges are in finding love. We'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on here. Um, if there's anyone new coming towards you, if there is, we're going to take a look and see what this person's like, what you need to know about them. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Taurus here tell me about single Taurus in love what's going on with single Taurus in love for February 2023 Sun Moon rising Venus signs for single Taurus here tell me about single Taurus in love tell me about single Taurus in love all right we have the tower Aries Scorpio energy we have the page of cups Cancer Scorpio Pisces you might be getting a, like an unexpected message here, okay? Uh, maybe this is uh, like a new romantic interest that has a crush on you. Yeah, this person might send you flowers. This person might send you a really nice note or a nice, nice text here. The world card and the lovers here, okay? I feel like you might have some sort of secret admirer or something like that. This person is definitely at a distance here from you, but I feel like this person is a friend. This is someone that you've known for a while here. It could be a water sign here. It doesn't have to be. We do have Gemini energy here with the lovers. Uh, Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. The Six of Pentacles here and the Three of Swords. I feel like you're still trying to overcome some sort of heartbreak here, uh, uh, Taurus. Okay? But yeah, um, I do feel like someone here is unexpectedly going to send you some sort of message here. Whoever this is, this person has a huge crush on you or that this person's really, really, really incredibly attracted to you. I feel like this person, you know, is trying to avoid you or that this person's, you know, trying to look away because I feel like this person stares at you, stares at you from a distance a lot here. You're definitely receiving a lot of communication. There's definitely potential for new, new love that's happening here for you, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands here. This person might be at a distance from you. Like I said, this person might be a friend that you didn't expect them to be thinking of you this way or feeling about you this way okay tell me about the six of pentacles here and the ace of cups there's new love coming in for you taurus yeah three of swords here and the hierophant taurus energy I, I do feel like whoever this is this person's serious about commitment i do feel like this person might be really really like protective of you, of you. this person is the type of person that's not gonna hurt you or let people hurt you here Okay, I do feel like when it comes to, you know, what you guys are looking for in a relationship, you guys are in the same, on the same page here. Okay, what are some of the blocks and challenges that single Taurus is facing in finding love? What are some of the blocks and challenges that single uh, Taurus is facing in finding love for uh, February 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Taurus. Four of Swords here in the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Seven of Swords here in the Ten of Pentacles. And the Star card here in the Eight of Cups here. Mm, Taurus, you know, it could be a situation that in the past or that, you know, or maybe even currently, it could be that, you know, when you do deal with someone in a relationship, I feel like you're triggered by some past experiences where you sabotage the connection. And I feel like you're trying to do all the work that you can so that you don't do that okay we have the four of swords here you're definitely doing some healing work you're definitely doing some soul searching here seven of swords and the ten of pentacles when things are going great you know it could be a situation that you sabotage the connection or it could be a situation that maybe the person that you're meeting 
is the type of person that does that. The star card here in the Eight of Cups, Aquarius energy here. I do feel like this person that you're meeting here is the one here. Yeah, I do feel like this person is the one. The thing is that I feel like somebody here could sabotage it. Yeah, it either could be you or the other person or maybe both of you guys are like this. The Four of Swords here, the Two of Swords, the Hermit here, and the Seven of Pentacles. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, I do feel like there's some sort of block here. You know, some someone here tends to like, or it could be you, you know, if things are going really well, you know, you might start to distance yourself. Someone here plays hot and cold. So yeah, Seven of Swords here. It could be the other person too. We have the Fool and the Seven of Swords here. Ten of Pentacles here. And the ten, this person's legit about wanting this with you. Thing is, I feel like you might not trust it. Or that you're not ready to commit yet. Or someone here is not ready to commit. Okay? Seems like someone here just wants to have a good time. Wants to have fun. Maybe take, take their sweet old time to get to know you here. Or, or to for you to know this person. We have the Star card here. And the Hangman. The Eight of Cups here. And the Knight of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. One of the things I'm getting here is that. You're definitely being enlightened here. This person's definitely really pursuing you hardcore. They really want to show you that they're going to prove to you that they're going to, you know, do the right thing here and not, you know, um, do the things that you're thinking that this person will do, which has hurt you. What else do we have for, for Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for or work on here for single Taurus? Tell me about this new person. What does single Taurus need to know about this new person here for February 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Two of Pentacles here and the Chariot. We have the King of Swords here and the High Priestess. And then we have the Ten of Swords here and the Three of Wands. One of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, Taurus, you could be in this energy of like not sure if you want this or not. I, I just feel like someone here has a decision to make or that someone here has a hard time making a decision because I do feel like eventually, I do feel like if this person picks up on this, I do feel like this person might go ghost on you. Okay, or like, uh, feel free to switch the roles if you want. It, it, this could be you that's, you know, picking this up on your person here. Okay, Ten of Swords here in the Three of Wands. I do feel like there will be some sort of ending here. Yeah, I do feel like, so I do feel like there is the challenge and the block here. It's not trusting. You're having a hard time trusting here. You could be feeling like this person, you could be feeling like someone here is juggling you, but this person's not. The chariot with a two of cups. This person's really serious about coming together here with you, uh, Taurus. The uh, king, king of Swords here and the Knight of Pentacles. I do feel like this person might pull back their energies and slow down a bit here. The High Priestess here and the Nine of Cups. This person's seen you as their wish fulfillment. We have someone here that's falling in love with you. Someone here has a huge crush on you. Yeah, Ten of Swords here. And I feel like you might not expect that this person has a crush on you. Like I said, I feel like this person might be a friend. Four of Cups here uh, and the Ten of Swords. Three of Wands here and the Eight of Swords. There's definitely some sort of fear about taking this offer and moving forward here. Yeah, the thing is, I feel like, you know, there is going to be happiness here. There's going to be stability. You guys are going to work really well together. But I've, like I said, I feel like someone's insecurities are getting in, the way, getting in the way here with the Nine of Pentacles here and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like someone here is obsessing the, about the worst here. Yeah. So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.